Are you ready right now, chat? I know you're good on balance. No, dude, I suck that, right? Are you ready for grand finals, chat? But we have to get through this first. So it turns out we're going oh, Fountain of Dreams. <laughs> Part of me right now really wants to just swallow the mic and make a really loud noise. <laughs> mention applying some good pressure getting those forward airs and those up airs in and that's going to be the first stock going towards dimension <laughs> a nice easy down air on peach to end the, the stock and the combo but it looks like justin has a little bit of a rebuttal And back air into the dash attack. And he nares marked off stage. He's going to hold the ledge, roll on the stage. And that's going to be the first stock for Justin. But the second stock of the game. And now we're looking at an even scenario, but a great forward air down air. And now she has to pull up the umbrella, and she just can't do it because he grabs the ledge perfectly and immaculately holding the ledge to prevent Peach from recovering. And he continues this onslaught of aerials against Peach as she struggles to find her footing. He's trying to dash dance, trying to work his way around, but the sword is just too big. He goes for the back air, and he's holding, and he's just holding. Peach offstage, another offstage scenario. Misses the sweet spot on the dare, but then gets it again with the rising dare. This is Jerry's last stock within the first game, and he's getting fared into oblivion. Here comes another great back air into fair. And he goes for the Akeel, and he gets it. It turns out the game for game one is going to go to dimension with a considerable lead. Let's see where Justin takes it next. It looks like we're going to take it to the land of dreams. Everybody, please stay attentive to the dreams that are about to be had. And he's got the chain grab going. Justin with the abysmal DI, unfortunately, cannot find his way out. All right, so now we're looking at the bracket, and we're scrolling, and we're scrolling. And we're looking at names, and I see some names being highlighted early on in Losers. Um, he's looking to see what happened to who. Um, can we please get OBS back up? I'm missing all the content. I hear Peach getting bodied, and we're we'll back. Looking like it's still even here. And he gets the upbeat to try to get back. Back to neutral. Reset the neutral. On the whiff down smash, and that's going to be... Dreamland helping Justin recover, even though Marth is just covering all options. Oh, and he takes a big hit from Marth, but he's still alive. And Marth lands the forward tilt. What a great spaced forward tilt. Get the tipper hitbox, but still not enough for this stage to kill the pink princess. But side B up tilt, that's going to do it. That will do it. And we are looking at a another first stock for Dimension, but an offstage scenario here. Justin Kim flubs it all. And now we're back to neutral. And the back air hits from Justin. He's going to throw the turnip down to catch the up B. Misses that, but he gets the down air and air and the float. So that's going to get him off stage again. But Justin, once again, not doing anything to contest him off the stage, but, you know, punishing Marth's pretty shitty off-ledge options um, with the forward, with the grab, and then he gets uh, tippered there. That's, you know, kind of unfortunate for him, but I've seen him come back from better and worse. Um, there's the Nair coming out, evening it up for a little bit. I mean, 62%, that's not too bad to come back from, but, you know, one tipper is really just going to change the whole game here. Um, so he lands the forward throw. He just waits it out. Justin flubbing the controller again. Drews out the spot dodge. I don't know what he's thinking. And there's the double fair. Carrying him across and up to the side. And now 
He's got him with the forward throw, forward smash. He's floating in from the magnifying glass. He gets up tilted to the other side of the stage. In Dimension, clearly dashing around these moves, going for these tippers, getting these great space tippers. And he gets him with a down air. I'm really, really wonder if Justin can do what he needs to do here. So he, he gets the forward throw. The back airs, he's just spamming forward air. And then he just gets the forward smash on the land. There's the up air. There's the forward throw, forward smash. And a lot of forward airs and forward smashes coming out yet again. The dash attack just missing from Dimension, but we're getting closer and closer. Last stock scenario for Peach. Peach going in with an air and the, and the forward air. The down smash pokes through the shield of Marth. But Marth just continues to carry Peach across the stage. Lands the forward throw. He is now going to go. Marth with the unfortunate SD. Can Justin bring it back with as much percent? Speak of a deficit. He lands the Gets the forward through forward smash yet again. A signature move. Side B up to. Oh, the down throw coming out. And there's the dash attack. And there it is. This is the forward smash. Hits the back air. The up air coming out. A shot coming out from Peach. Not gonna do it. Turnips coming out. And the tipper. And that's gonna be game two. Going towards dimension. Anybody in the chat? What do you guys think? Justin, switching, switching to cannon. This is going to be a quick, quick game three. Justin Kim's cannon, proof, proving yet again that he enjoys sandbagging at our local tournaments. The back airs, the meaty back airs, coming out. Marth trying to get him, just can't do it. The back air lands from cannon. The ledge hog with the roll on. Just leaking from this monitor. He catches the ledge crap from Marth. Marth's still 
just like we won't stop grabbing the ledge. He gets forward smashed off, tries to do it but twice, and misses the second time. Keeps re grabbing the ledge, spamming up air and forward air. Keeps spamming air, but forward air comes out, he misses, gets the back air on him. This is. 